For our final look at this filling machine's data, we're going to use the third version here. Let's open up our third version, change our dataset name to fill3, and run our import again. Then again, go down to tasks and utilities, linear models, one-way analysis of variance, change our data set we're working on to field 3, and again, and otherwise set it up just as before. Field time is our dependent variable, machine our categorical variable. Under options, we'll keep Tukey as our comparison method, and hit run. Okay, uh, let me scroll down to the graph, because that should give us a little bit of information about what's happened here. Um, you know what, actually it doesn't give much information, right? Uh, the, the box plot for A and B looks identical, nothing's changed there, but for machine C it looks a little bit different, because what happened was I deleted one of the observations for machine C. That has created what we call an unbalanced design, where we don't have the same number of observations in each of our groups. That turns out not to be a particularly big problem. Uh, analysis variance done within uh, SAS uh, Studio, it can handle this just fine. We've got 14 observations across the three levels, five for uh, machine A, five for machine B, and now four for machine C. Our S statistic decreased just slightly, our, uh, our p-value is still significant. As we scroll down, doo -doo 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 -doo, we see the uh, um, confirmation of what I told you, that we've got five observations for machines A and B, and four for machine C. And we get very similar comparisons to what we had before. Comparing machines 1 and 2, our p-value is significant, less than 0.05, so machines A and B are significant, have significantly different field times. Machine, let's see, levels 1 and 3, that's machines A and C, have significantly different field times, because our p-value here is less than 0.05, but machines B and C, that is levels 2 and 3, uh, do not have significantly different uh, sizes, significantly different uh, field times, rather. Sometimes when we have an unbalanced design, things can get a little bit tricky here in, compar in comparing means. Uh, but the way that SAS Studio does this, actually, we don't need to worry about it too much, because it just gives us these p-values, and that's great, that's exactly what we're used to working with. And so we don't really need to worry too much about these unbalanced designs.